Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the most talked about topics in the world of Iraqi currency, the potential removal of zeros from the Iraqi dinar. If you've been keeping up with Iraqi dinar news, you've probably heard the phrase remove the zeros floating around a lot. But what does it really mean and why is it happening? In today's video, I'm going to break it down for you in a way that's easy to understand. And more importantly, we'll talk about what the real goal behind this move is. Because trust me, it's not just about keeping the currency the same, despite what some might tell you. First, let's get one thing straight. When we talk about removing the zeros, we're referring to the government's plans to re-denominate the currency. It's a process that many countries around the world have gone through, especially after periods of inflation or economic instability. Essentially, it means knocking off three zeros from the currency's nominal value. So, if something costs 1,000 dinars today, after the redenomination, it would cost just one dinar. Sounds simple, right? But what does this actually mean for the economy, and more importantly, for you? For years, Iraq has been dealing with economic challenges, from political instability to the aftermath of war, not to mention the devaluation of its currency. The idea of removing zeros is often seen as a way to simplify transactions, make accounting easier, and ultimately restore confidence in the currency. But this isn't about devaluing the dinar or reducing its worth. This is where the misconception comes in. Many people here remove the zeros in panic, thinking their money will be worth less, but that's not the case. Think of it like this. When the Turkish lira went through a similar process in the early 2000s, they removed six zeros from their currency. Was the lira suddenly worthless? No. It was still backed by the same economic fundamentals. What changed was that it became easier to use and understand. The same principle applies here. Iraq wants to streamline its currency system, making it easier for businesses, banks, and everyday citizens to engage in transactions. Now, why does Iraq want to remove the zeros? It's not just for cosmetic reasons, though that's part of it. A currency with so many zeros can be a headache for accounting, leading to errors in calculations. But more importantly, removing the zeros can help restore confidence in the economy. When a currency looks inflated, it reflects negatively on the country's economic health. By removing those zeros, the government aims to signal that the country is moving towards stability. You might have heard others say that this move is designed to keep the currency the same or diminish its value, but that's simply not true. While the nominal value of the currency changes, its purchasing power stays the same. So if you have 1,000 dinars today, after the redenomination, you'll have one dinar. 